Gypsy. Mm-hmm. Come out one. So, what are we talking about? We're not talking about going out for a meal. Me and you? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Who's going to pick up? We're going to go Dutch. Yeah. Right, no. going out for a meal can be a stressful time, particularly where are you going? Thank you, goodbye. <laughs> particularly if you're on a kind of a weight loss journey or you feel you are on a diet. Yeah. Or particularly if you're quite a stressful person. Yes. You can struggle with um, kind of more fluid scenarios. So often people, they want kind of a precise diet, like what do I eat? X, Y, Z. The problem with that is it doesn't really fit into any kind of social scenario. There's always going to be times when people want to go out for meals. You know, it's part of our culture to celebrate the food, and that's great. You need to, what we think, you need to have a plan that kind of accommodates that. So, what's the best way to, to navigate? I say you got two options. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> One, you could go out and you could try and stay as on plan as possible, but this can be quite stressful um, by, you know, trying to find a uh, a plan or a, a, a diet friendly restaurant to go to or someone that's serving you know the, the kind of the best option you kind of mess around with that or two you just go two tears in a bucket okay <laughs> and you just eat what you want okay <laughs> my grandma watches this and you eat what you want and you just accept that this is not going to be ideal but you know it's not going to help you to your budget goals but that can always be worth it like I always say if you're creating happy memories that's right. <laughs> Sometimes it's worth going off plan. You know what I mean? There's no problem at all. You going out for a drink with a loved one or a work partner, <laughs> sharing a bottle of wine. As long as you create those good memories, it's when you're sat at home in your underpants drinking a bottle of wine out of a Pringles tube. Or perhaps in the office. Yeah, or in the office <laughs> eating five peanut butter magnums because you've had a bad day. That is not worth it. Going out for a nice you know, meal for someone's birthday or a, a social engagement. And creating, like I said, good, you know, good memories is definitely worth, the juice is worth the squeeze. Mm. Going back to what James said there as well, it's quite common for people to say, well, I couldn't get to the nearest salad shop, so I had to eat the steak with the creamy sauce and the 14 sides. It came, sides it came and with the cheese sauce. <laughs> and the dessert. And it only came with chips. You just need to be aware that you know, you're paying for a service and it just comes down to how, how, much, how far are you willing to go for your goals. So I have no problem saying to a waiter, do you have any veg I could have with this? Yeah, it's not very hard. Could I swap That's nine chips for veg? That's about eight, eight words there, so it's not too much to ask, but people will refuse to do it. It's a great British way. Yeah, for fear of being difficult. Yeah. But you're paying for something, you want to achieve something, why not mesh the two and not have a meal that's way off plan just because you've gone out to a restaurant? Unless you want to. Yeah, I think the, the great example that I always kind of hark back to is the lovely Gav, who is the guy who lost hundred pounds with us, not money, you know, lost seven stone. And he went out to eat more than about to gain else I knew, but he would always stick to the right choices to have. So, you know, you look at people always say, oh, what can I eat? Well, look at the commandments. Yeah. Protein, fats, veg, they are essentials, so work them in. Then think of the things you're not allowed, processed foods, maybe faster acting carbs, alcohol. It's quite easy to know which things they are, like, uh, what are chips? Well, if it's fried in oil, it's not going to be optimal for your results. Right. So veg is always going to be... That includes sweet potato fries. Yeah. <laughs> Shocker. Spoiler, sweet potato fries are deep fried just like yeah. <laughs> the same oil. So that's, that's a kind of our issue with that. So just make the... You know, you just have to figure out where you want to be, you know, how much you willing to sacrifice, but is asking the waiter if it's possible for them to change the menu for you. That big sacrifice now, for me it's not, but for a lot of people it's, you just kind of have to decide, but it can make such a massive difference. You know, people get so het up, like I only had one meal out and I didn't lose weight. Well, you've clearly overdone that meal, and, you know, or there's something else that's kind of straight, yeah, something's happening. But ultimately, it's the food you're putting in or the exercise you're not doing, it's gonna to lead to your results not being as you want. So, you just like James says, you have to, to decide which side of the fence you're gonna sit on, and then, Accept, <laughs> accept it. Yeah. Accept what, whichever decision you've made. So, like Joe said, you know, if you're going out, then just look at ticking off your kind of your main commandments of protein, vegetables, and then <laughs> try and avoid processed, <laughs> and then everything else is kind of a bonus. So that's protein, vegetables, <laughs> and not processed babies. Yeah, I like to just 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 be happy with your choice. Yeah, you know, and ultimately, it's only going to plateau you for one week. So it's when people if go, that. yeah, it's not guaranteed. You might get it. The number of people who, you know, and the difference is, well, is if you look at it from our scoring perspective, you can have 
six tens and a nine, that's a meal off, or you can have a week of eights and then blame the meal off. Like, you've got to look at the, the bigger picture, You're not looking at things just as meals, but looking at it as, over the course of days, over the course of weeks, and then often you'll see that the problem's not located to just one meal, but it's one meal on top of little blips every day. It's amazing how much you can get away with just by making smart choices at restaurants, training beforehand and being tight the rest of the time, yeah. you're still really likely to make progress. So, so you know, you go for a, a nice meal out, you know, breakfast and lunch, keep maybe slightly lower calorie, so drop the carbs a little bit, drop the fats a little bit, keep the proteins high, nice and lean, and then you're gonna accommodate a few extra calories. Maybe a little room. Yeah. Yeah, cool, so just be happy with your choices whatever they are, and enjoy your meal out.